What's up everybody? This is your girl Kimbo Slice and welcome back to my channel. And I hope that you've all had a wonderful week. Mine was somehow longer than last week, but you know, we're living, we're thriving, we're here and making this dough, kind of. Anyways, I have recently had to move back into my parents' house and though they are lovely, I know that I would just like a little more independence and I have been looking at different houses and um, apartments and things like that and I thought why not make a video on weird listings on Zillow. So check it out with me. Let's see what we can find. I'm sure that there's plenty of sketch stuff on the internet. Okay, so let's see what we got here. What we got. The Bright Blue House of Horrors. Okay, um, not, not the best. Let's see what we got going on here. That is so bright. Oh my gosh. Yeah, no, um... I have a feeling they like conducted seances in here or something. It's just giving that vibe. Why is it so red? I feel like it would give me a headache just looking at all that stuff. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, these people were definitely into some weird stuff. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, what the? At least make the cabinets black too. Why is it like leopard print? Okay, so that house, oh my gosh, that house is $376,000. Two bed, two bath. Yeah, no, I think we'll pass. That's that's cool, that's cool. Oh, I didn't even see where that house was. Where is it? In Phoenix, Arizona. All right, make sure not to go there. Um, Chicago, Illinois. Interesting, this house is on top of some apartments. I don't really know how you got permission to do that, but okay. A, to get to the house, you have to climb the whole fire escape. <laughs> it's a good drone picture. Why, why are we just getting farther away? I wanna get closer to the house, not farther. Okay. Oh, oh, that's not so bad. It's got three sliding glass doors. Okay, I like it other than this, the, this, these little panes, these window panes. I don't know what they're called, but they just have like an older vibe to them. Okay, okay, you know, not too bad. The floors are nice. It looks very light in there, which I love that. I love sunlight. So, you know, that's something that I would like in my house. They built the house on a roof in Chicago for 600, oh my gosh, it's listed at 699,000 buckaroos, three bed, three bath. So, you know, maybe one day, probably never. <laughs> I love how it's from Zillow Gone Wild, that's the, that's the page. Okay, this house is in Houston, Texas. It kind of looks like the Pentagon or something from Star Wars. Oh, interesting. I feel like this kind of looks like a club. <laughs> I'm not mad at the kitchen. The floor is kind of weird, but I could dig it, I guess. And the countertops. I don't know what this these edges are. I feel like you. it just looks like straight up rock. And you're just like broke the rock off the sides and slapped it on the top of the cabinets. Said, this is my counter. You have two staircases, why? What? Oh, it goes around. It's like uh, the house in Clueless. That's cool because then you could do like grand entrances. That would be cool. You have to have like a ball or something just so you can descend the staircase with your gown, your night gown. Oh my gosh. Okay, yeah, I dig all the windows, like that is cool. But at the same time, it kind of creeps me out. It's nice during the daytime, but then at night, it's just creepy because then you just don't know what's out there. 
I don't know. And I feel like it could turn into like a hush situation if you've ever seen that movie and like some creepy man would just be outside. I don't know. Maybe not that many windows, but I like the windows. Ooh, some abstract art, if you will. Okay, okay, Houston, Texas. That's a nice house or whatever. How much is it? How much is it though? I'm gonna say, wait, wait. Maybe I should make a game out of this and like find out how much these houses are worth. I didn't actually see the price just now, so I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna say it's like a cool like two million. We'll say that. Four point three million dollars. Well. This is, oh, and it's called the Darth Vader house. Okay, that tracks. See, the, the Star Wars house. So you uh, succeeded in your design because um, I got what you were going for. Good job, whoever the architect was. The introvert's dream home. Um, oh, okay. Well, what the heck? You already said what the price was. Mm. Okay, well, apparently this house is 15. Is that a billion? No, that's million because it's got six zeros. That's definitely a million. Why would it be a billion? That's stupid, I'm sorry. Anyways, this house is in Greenwood, Minnesota. Why is it shaped like that? It looks weird. Oh my gosh, it looks like a train station with that roof on it. And is that an elevator? Okay, okay. Wow, it's so luxurious. I like that couch, but also you would never want to sit on it. I feel like it can't possibly be comfortable. It's just, it looks like it's out of a catalog. Those like floating beds, I feel like they look cool, but at the same time, freak me out. I don't know why. I just feel like it could fall, fall on the floor at any moment. An at-home gym. That is definitely something if I ever got rich, I would definitely put a gym in my own house and probably a rock climbing wall. An in-home theater. Yep, yep. Is that a is that a bathtub or a pool? Ooh. No, wait, why don't you show more of it? That's important. Okay, well it's probably like the bath or something. Oh my gosh. I would never leave my bathroom if I had a bath that large. Is that is this the same house? What else I look like? Let me go back. I guess it is. It's just, I never saw like the outside up close. It actually looks really nice. Not gonna lie. I don't know why it's called weird. It's not that weird. It's just isolated, which I feel like a lot of people will really enjoy. I'm not looking at the price. I'm not looking at the price. What, what is the title of the house? I can't see it. The Royal Tenenbaums. Okay, so it's like German or whatever. Okay, okay. Red walls, yet again, why? It just looks angry. Okay, I feel like these stairs are from Insidious. How much you wanna bet that they have a grandfather clock? This room is a completely, okay. I feel like this does not go along with the first pictures. Like it seems like it's a completely different house. The color scheme and everything. And this is a pretty normal room too. Yeah, pretty nice, pretty nice. Where is this house at? I really don't wanna see how much it costs. Come on, dude. New York. Okay. Wait, so that's the kitchen. And then that's the T, that's a TV right there. Well, why though? That island is pretty awesome. We love a big island. The, the terrace outside, yes. Oh, we love a good terrace. Okay, actually, okay, I bet you it said the price down there, but I didn't see it. I didn't see it, I promise. Okay, if it's in New York, New York, the big city, I'm gonna say that this house is quite expensive. Um, I wish I could see like the square footage, but I would see how much it cost if I did. Mm. I'm just gonna say 2.5 million. What the heck? 
available for rent, 20,000 per month, six beds, six and a half bath and 6,000 square feet for 20,000 a month. Interesting. Okay, why is it not for sale? Anyways, okay, whatever. The multifunctional house. This house, it doesn't say that. Yeah, okay. Is in Kudalene, Idaho. That's very fancy for a place that is a potato. Um, okay, so they decided to make some stairs and make it into a house. Interesting. I would like to see more. Why is it stairs? I don't know if I dig it. That's some nice railing though. Ooh, what a nice view. A bunk bed or bunk beds. Oh, that makes sense because y'all don't have any kind of space on the inside. See, um, no. Like the only thing that that house is good for is the view I feel like. Other than that, inside is just kind of weird. That would be a cool like Airbnb, I guess, to, you know, rent out. I'm gonna say that this house, if we're talking about how much it costs, I'm gonna say $450,000. $695, okay, okay, not terrible. Maybe I'm getting the hang of this. <laughs> Haunted jail, mm -hmm. A, for real. Apparently anything can be listed as a house on Zillow. That is, that is proving to be true. What What is this picture? Why is there like sunlight in the... Okay. Why is there a little ghost there? Look at this great filter, you guys. Makes it look so much scarier. I mean, it is creepy. And I don't understand. Of course it's in Florida. Trenton. Trent, Trenton. Trent, Trenton, Florida. Because... Why wouldn't it be? Is that a mannequin? Oh my god. Why is this listed? Great opportunity. This home has a pending offer. Who the heck? One eternity later. Interesting. So that's where they have the uh, the ghost club meetings, eh? Makes sense. You know, little little ghosty boy up here. How much does this cost? Okay. Um... I'm gonna say 25,000. I meant 250,000. That's really what was on my mind, but you know, it's 139,990. Eight bed, eight bath. Can it really be considered like bedrooms though? They're cells, they're not bedrooms. And the toilet is in the cell. Anyways, okay, next one, Jenga. I love these little captions. This home looks quite precarious, like a bunch of Jenga blocks. Let's hope they don't collapse. It's in Cambridge, Massachusetts. Okay, let's see. Oh, wow. It looks very minimalist. I don't know how I feel about the stairs from me. I don't know. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's the door and it just slides out. I guess that's kind of cool. I feel like this whole house looks like it's from Ikea. Like someone took an Ikea setup and then just moved it to this location. That's what they did. And they kept all the decorations with it too. This bathroom's kind of cool, I guess. Eh. I don't know. No, okay, the more I look at it, the more it just kind of looks dirty. Like, I know that it's clean, but the way that the pattern on the tiles just makes it look kind of, I don't know. I don't like it. I thought I did, and I don't. Also, I don't like the, I guess maybe there's, maybe there's supposed to be, like, cabinetry underneath the sink. Because who wants to see all of the, like, inner workings of the sink? It's just not very attractive, but yeah, I don't know. How much does this house cost? Um, I'm gonna say Massachusetts, probably decently pricey, especially since it's like weird abstract art or architecture. 
um, $555,000. Two bit. It's only got two bedrooms and two bathrooms and it's only 1200 square feet. They should change this from this one as special to this one as a ripoff. That's outrageous. Not $800,000 for two bedrooms and two bathrooms. Absolutely not. You've got to be kidding me. Okay, next one, Barbie's home. Interesting. A, the, uh, the human Ken doll and Barbie doll, they can live here. I don't like the teal. Um, but I guess if it's supposed to be a Barbie home, then it, that's very much on brand. And the couch, okay, okay. I swear we had that futon whenever I was younger. Yeah, that was definitely a thing. Ooh, it looks so soft. I just want to lay on it all day long. Looks great. Okay, okay. This is actually one of my favorite colors, this like lavender color. Mm, yay, more lavender or lilac. Oh, it's like, yeah, that's lavender, right? I don't know, it's a light purple. The peach isn't even that bad. It's still kind of in your face though. Oh, and this is in Seattle, Washington. Okay. All right, I'm gonna say that this house is hmm, in Washington, eh? I'll say it's like 600,000. Oh, $825,000. Oh my gosh. Three bedroom, three and a half bath, 1,500 square feet. Again, it's not worth it. It's really not. Next one. Home sweet home. What's mine is yours. Um... What the heck? A post office in Port... How do you say that? Ewen? Ewen? Is it Ewen? Ewen? I don't know. You'll have to let me know. It's in New York, New York. Okay, post office. Why? Okay. Okay. Um, looks a little... Little janky, but I guess that makes sense. What is that? I guess it's that's it remodeled. Oh my gosh! Well, I wish there were pictures of the rest of the house. That was beautiful. And so, wait, that was that? There you go. They had like Chip and Joanna Gaines get up in there. Okay, okay. Hmm. Maybe it's not too bad because it was in a like an abandoned post office. Um. So I'm gonna say that it's like I don't know. I feel like these have been higher than I'm thinking. So I'm just gonna say it's like seven hundred. $55,000. Are you kidding me? The one time I go high and it's like, it's $180,000. Well, wait. And it's only two bathrooms? Oh, well that makes sense because it's got no rooms. Which, that's dumb. I'm <laughs> stupid. Of course it doesn't have any rooms as a post office. Dumb, dumb. Oh, and that's the end. What do I think of these? Um, they were definitely weird. That's for sure. I kind of wanted to find something more creepy or sketchy. But these are cool. So I can't afford any of those houses. Um, <laughs> and I suppose I will continue looking to find a suitable abode in the future. But this has been fun. Um, I hope that you guys had a great time. If you can find any other weird Zillow listings, Craigslist listings, let me know. Put it in the comments. Uh, while you're at it, go ahead and click that like and subscribe button. And I will be back next week. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.